Hello everyone, uh, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Uh, today I will be walking you through our new show it template called Regina. Uh, I will be showing you how to update some of the colors, the fonts, the logo, images, and where you can embed certain forms and connect your Instagram. This is a quick walkthrough of how to customize and personalize our Regina template to fit your brand and your business. So first off, let's start with the design settings. So when you have Regina opened after you've used uh, our share key, you will have essentially this, like you will be looking at pretty much the exact same thing that I am. So on the left hand side, you'll see this uh, sidebar and you can go here to where it says design settings. So this is where you can choose your uh, typography, your type for mobile and desktop, as well as your color palette. Uh, now you can also, uh, for the color and fonts, you can do this on a global level, which is where this is happening, but you can also do it on an individual level, which I will show you in just a moment. So first off, let's update these colors, and I'm just gonna pick uh, a couple of them. And I have some hex codes right here. So whatever your branding is, you can add these in. Mm -hmm. I want this color. And then... So I'm going to only change these colors for now. You can change all of them depending on how many colors you have. You can update everything, but that's pretty much how you do it. So now going to the fonts, uh, you can go, you'll see here for mobile and desktop. So you can click into whichever font you would like to change. So let's change heading for now. And you will have an option of fonts. And you can also click add new. So you will see Google fonts here that are free to use, or you can uh, add a custom font file here if you have the license for that. So let's just pick one. Let's do this and add. Then we're going to hit save. We can go back to site styles and then go here. And now your the font you just chose is selected. So we will just keep this simple for now. And then we're going to go to mobile and change this to the same font and hit save. So now when you go onto this screen. Oh. There you go. You can see that the colors have changed and the fonts have changed automatically and it's done globally. So there might be a couple, you know, nit nitpicky cleanup items that you need to do to make things look better or how you want them. But for the most part, everything has been updated. You can see the colors all of that and the fonts change. So now if you want to customize something on an individual level, let's say let's say you want this color, this um, shape, you can click and adjust to fit the sizing. And here where it says shape style, you can update the color. So let's say we want the lighter gray here you can choose the corresponding color from your palette or pick a new color completely. So I like that a little bit better. And then we can go in and just adjust
as needed. And let's change one of these. So you can see how it's coming apart or coming together <laughs> uh, quickly and how nice it looks. So we're already transforming the brand and personalizing it. <laughs> so that's how colors and fonts go. And you can kind of pretty much go into every page and update, clean up, uh, update things as you'd like uh, to see them. Now, if something has a border, there will also be a border color option to choose from. Okay, so let's move on to the logo. So we are gonna go here to where it says um, header. Now this is an image, so we are gonna swap image. Now I already have a logo updated or added there. So we can adjust this frame. While I'm here, I'm gonna adjust this. better fit okay now let's go back to home page and you can see how that logo updated across all pages now there's a secondary logo over here again we can swap this image I only have this one logo so we're gonna use that and instead Yeah, we could just update this since we're here. We're gonna go to Canvas Background and we'll just choose, hmm, let's choose this, but just select a new color completely. So you can pretty much mix and match, do whatever you'd like that works for your brand. Okay, now changing images is gonna be similar to how you updated the logo uh, just then. So let's start with this hero image. We are gonna select this and this is on the canvas background. So I'm gonna just select. And I have some images uh, picked out already. So we are gonna just drag and drop those in. And let them load. middle center so now we have this image let's say we want to still swap that out I think I liked this image more so again watch we'll it upload okay beautiful perfect and you can keep going and update any images that you'd like so let's do this one. And it's going to change the image. Pretty easy, right? Okay, awesome. So next for any content, you can just click into the text box, double click and say, Let's say that. And you can change anything and everything to the content in the copy that you have written. Now, if there's certain sections, so if you go here, you can see on the site tab, all the about services, course, testimonials, pages, every page that we have, you can just click in and see what, um, pages and images need to be updated with sections or colors you need to change out and play with it and customize all of it just like I, I showed you. Now for links, let's say, for example, here we have the free guide. You can go to click actions. And since I want it to go to another page, I have page selected and then it's going to be the free page. Now, if I want it to drop down, I can pick a different canvas, I can go to a social, a different URL, an email, etc. So that's how you do all buttons and they'll all work fairly similarly. Okay, now there will be some graphics in here like this tablet. On this homepage we have these hexagons. On the testimonials we have uh, the pictures of each individual. 
on the course page, we have uh, this cute little call out. So that is why we have some Canva graphics here that you can go in through Canva, customize, download them, and then upload them as an image. So you are staying with the, the style, you're keeping all the graphics together and they're gonna look super nice. So you can swap all of that out. Now, if you want to, you can always change this out to a different shape, um, a circle, a star, really anything that you'd like, whatever fits your brand the best. And finally, there are some areas where you can embed a code. So this section right here is meant for a form, like a subscribe here form. Here you have the embed code. So you can have, go here to embed info. And whether you have Flowdesk or MailChimp or ConvertKit, all of them should provide you a custom code called an embed code where you can add in a form that goes directly to that email. So you can add that code here and it's gonna pop up. We also have um, a spot for Instagram where you can connect your Instagram feed and just by logging in, you can uh, customize this a bit more as uh, you'd like based on your preferences. On this free page, this, uh, URL frame is also an embed code for your um, subscribe email form. <laughs> okay, and that is pretty much it for Regina. Uh, it's a quick walkthrough of how to make updates to the site. I'm so excited for you guys to use it. So check it out, it's available on our shop page right now. Um, if you want to go through our Shopify store, Etsy, Creator Market, whatever you'd like, uh, there's instructions, the Canva graphics, the whole show it uh, platform or the whole show it website design all ready for you. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Bye.